In other news, a much anticipated highway project, decades in the making, is moving forward. Veterans Boulevard Interchange in Fresno will ultimately connect Herndon east of Highway 99 to Shaw Avenue west of the 99. CBS 47's Liv Johnson is live at the construction site with details. Liv. Yeah, Catherine, local officials really excited about today's groundbreaking event. This project initially proposed in 1984, so almost 40 years in the making. And when this next phase is complete, it will connect where I'm standing right now on Veterans Boulevard over the Union Pacific tracks to Shaw Avenue. It's a project that's been in the works nearly 40 years, with a goal of connecting East Fresno to West Fresno, nearing its final stages. This is an exciting day in the city and the county of Fresno. It's called Veterans Boulevard, and when completed, which officials say will happen before the end of 2023, the two and a half mile, $140 million project will connect Herndon on the east side of Highway 99 to Shaw Avenue on the west side of the 99. Hopefully alleviating traffic congestion and providing easier access to the 99. For anyone living out on the west side has ever been stopped by a train on Shaw, for anyone who's ever been stuck behind trucks on Herndon waiting to get gas at Parkway Drive, this is a welcome addition. The project includes a six-lane corridor with raised landscape medians, a protected pedestrian trail, and a two-way bike path. And it will connect the West Siders to shopping, dining, places of worship, as well as entertainment venues. Funding for Veterans Boulevard comes from developer fees and a mix of local, state, and Measure C funds. I'm in love with Measure C dollars. Uh, they have done so much, so much for Fresno County. Representative Jim Costa saying the project is part of a larger conversation surrounding infrastructure investments and air quality. We've got to make the kinds of investments that our parents and grandparents made. So the investments of Veterans Boulevard will improve the economy and create more jobs. It will provide traffic safety and it will help uh, with our air quality. Because and although this project does seem like a long time coming, uh, city leaders today said that if it finishes before 2023, that will actually be ahead of schedule. Live in Fresno, I'm Liv Johnson, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.